people like this, and you know, I'm not even gonna make a comment on what it looks like. They, they're the same people that are like, oh, it's just a game. Why you have to be mad? It's just game. It's only game. <laughs> Yo, what is going on, everyone? Once again, it is AB Solved or Absolved Live. And in today's video, I thought we'd watch back a, uh, you know, a, the reaction of somebody that I played against that was pretty unfavorable towards me. Now, normally, I don't really care about, you know, what somebody says on stream, right? But when they take it a little bit further, they go beyond the game, they play me on their stream and whatnot, and, uh, you know, insult me at a at, on a bit of a personal level. You know, I think, you know, we could just take it for what it is and get some of the comedic factor out of it for, like, how absolutely transformative Dead by Daylight is for a lot of people's personalities, where, like, a lot of people take this game, like, so severely personal to the point where like this person seems to think that I'm like a piece of uh well it's 30 seconds into the video so I can't really say the magical word but a piece of s h i t uh and yeah it insults me on a personal level again anyway though if you like what you see here you know I do stream killer just about every day at twitch.tv forward slash absolved live if you'd like to check out more killer gameplay there anyway let's get into it no audio let me say you know not said this very often lately but i know that basically whenever way people choose to play they choose to play that way because the game rewards them playing that way so when it comes right down to it it's not their fault entirely maybe um and you see that part right there is pretty funny because what happens later in the video like literally later in this game is completely antithetical to precisely what they're saying right here, which is, uh, you know, a, a piece of comedic contention. But at the same time, it is a choice you make to, you know, like, I don't know, I don't think it makes you a bad person no matter no, what you do, no. but it, it's still kind of shitty if you, you know, try and make the other side have a bad time without them having done anything. <laughs> So I think the thing a lot of people don't realize in this game is like a lot of times with the way the game currently is is killer. Like if you even want to have a chance and like your your MMR, you know, the MMR system as flawed as it is, you know, the matchmaking that they use pretty much pairs you with people of equal MMR, you know, skill based matchmaking. Your games are literally going to be incredibly sweaty unless you're just like purposely throwing games. So it's like a lot of the times as like a killer streamer, like I, I, you know, I have to play to win, right? Like, I can't just not play to win because if I don't play to win, like, you know, people are going to lose interest because they're there to watch me play killer. They're not there to watch me, like, throw the game on purpose, right? So at the same time, it's like it, you have to do certain things to win that a lot of the times survivors will take as an absolute personal slight. And it's like you're not even really trying to purposely piss them off. Like, you're just trying to win the game and you you know sometimes have to sweat to do that still how i ran into him and i agree also the stage why would you not come back there Okay, so what I did here was basically you can't really see it because I don't have my end of the bot. I just basically stood there. I turned around 180 degrees and then moonwalked backwards into there because that usually gets the survivor. Like they'll think you're running back that way, and but I actually ran, or uh, and then they'll try to run that way. So which is why I just stand there for about a split second and then completely moonwalk, and that usually almost always gets the survivor right there at that point. Right there. <laughs> Ew, oh stinky. Ben playing this video game in any video game. Like, I should be. I, I am. I am entitled to at the very least not have a miserable fucking time. You know, I hate when people are. I hate when people. You see right there, right? Like, dude, when I'm literally playing killer, just about every game is a is a miserable time. Uh, it's just not fun. Say like, wow, you're really mad over a video game. 
Yes, I devote many hours of my day to this video. He's just straight to helping me at five gems. Wow. It's a normal emotion to get mad at a video game. If people. Now, you see, I, I can understand to a degree getting a little annoyed at the video game. And you see, I wouldn't really care. But, you know, after this game is over, like, they pull up my stream and, and are literally going off on me for, like, 10 to 15 minutes, dude. It's like, that's where I kind of say you're going a little bit over the line. Like, I'm not one of those hardcore, wow, you're you're bothered by the video game at all, dude. It's just, re it's not real life. You know, like, I don't, I don't care about, you know very mild typical in-game banter or the occasional sarcastic remark but like the whole opening up somebody else's stream after a game and just ripping into them for 10 to 15 minutes it's kind of where it feels a little bit over the line imo we're acting shitty yeah i have if people right are to doing things they know makes people upset you have a right to get mad at that it only becomes toxic if you tell with the person to off themselves or something like that now you see here to be fair they didn't tell me to off myself so at least i i don't remember hearing that on the first watch through i didn't do like a clean watch through like i kind of just watched it in bits and pieces at three times speed however this is the first time that i'm actively watching it but like at the same time like you know while they may not have told me to off myself they did go pretty in depth into ripping me apart for 10 to 15 minutes after their game like with my stream open and all and whatnot this killer literally top chase the same thing and go back and tunnel. I mean, or they... Can I DS him and he's still on me? You're garbage. I'm buffed. I mean, at the end of the oh day... And you see here, they're all lining up and jumping in front and giving me save the best for last stacks, which is like a wonderful, a wonderful bonus right here. But people use the excuse to play shitty because it's just a game. Yeah, look, this piece of shit is like tunneling. He's a uh, deadlock. No, wow. Pain no, no, no. res, dead man, switch that. Um, any, any fourth gender? Fourth gender? Uh, are we everything from fourth gender? And you see, in my experience, like, I play a lot of Survivor off stream, and it's like, Unless it's like a nurse, you know, or a blight, like even running the strongest stuff, like it it really doesn't compare to what you can run on a survivor. And we don't even run the strongest stuff and we just steamroll past killers. The killer gets like a 2k, it's an absolute miracle. What Denver, maybe? Maybe? And it's like, to be honest, you should basically play this game expecting the other side to be running the strongest perks at all times, because that's usually how it always goes. If you tell me off this stuff, I'm DC goddamn moron. Well, he doesn't know about Shadow, so... So unless you get me, two people are just standing around doing nothing. I'm not standing around doing nothing. I'm doing nothing. Dog shit. He's still chasing me. Yeah, he's still chasing me. I mean, we're legit trying to take care of so he's in the tunnel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is why barbecue is such a good part, because it incentivizes you getting four hopes. It incentivizes you for hooking. Yeah, you see, that is true. Barbecue does incentivize you to get four hooks, but there's so many ways to hide from it now. Everybody hides some barbecue, dude. If you get a, a barbecue aura in modern day 2022, that is an absolute rarity. And like 99% of the time when you actually pursue that barbecue aura, that person is already like crouched and hiding away. So like barbecue in modern time is barely even worth it outside of the extra point incentive, of course. And I believe this is where things start getting spicy. Little bit spicy. Yeah, you could do anything, dude. He's a Twitch streamer. 
Hmm? It's trash. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Absolved. I am trash. It's oh my god! <laughs> wait, I know who that alive. is. But he's not alive. Oh wait, what's his? Apparently I'm wrecked live. This is mm -hmm. thing. Absolved live. I have no idea who any of these people are. In fact, when this game happened, I normally avoid, generally avoid playing against streamers. I wasn't even aware there was a streamer in the lobby because I don't think I was like paying attention when this happened. So, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know who this person is, but apparently uh, they know who I am. I know who that is. His name is Cole. Wait, wait. No, oh, not that. that. Oh, not that one. <laughs> name is Trash, bro. W. There are a oh, lot of people God. in this world named Cole. Yep. So at that moment, I think she just clicked onto my stream and looked at my face and let out an audible sound of disgust. Of course, right there. <laughs> and this is where like it starts to get like really, really spicy comparatively. Usual, uh, Playing me on stream. I've been right against now. him two times before. No. And there, she literally ooze my physical appearance, dude. I live for this stuff. This is always, like, the greatest, funniest stuff is, like, when I get stuff like this on uh, on ad hominem-based insults, dude. It's always, like, the greatest once it leaves the game, dude. It's, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, like, I can take it and, and stuff like this, you know. The average person probably isn't going to, like, enjoy hearing these types of things. But for somebody like me, this is literally comedy gold, dude. Like, it is, it is funny, when people like lose their minds like this about the game to that degree. I healed on so I dead hearted pretty early. And you could just hear her say right there, she just said he looks and then stopped herself. Because here here's what probably happened, right? I'm a general I'm a pretty sizable, like I'm not a big streamer, right? But you know, I average around 35 to 45 viewers. And I, I think this person realized she can't really go off on me because I'm a bigger streamer and then I'll come back to bite her in the ass. So I think that's the only reason that she pretty much like caught herself there. I guarantee if I was a three viewer streamer, uh, you know, like this person would have let me know exactly what they thought of me because they assumed or would assume that there would be no repercussions for doing so because who's going to care if you talk down on some three viewer streamer, right? But this person realizes to some degree because I think I have like 55 viewers at this point uh, when this person clicked on. So they, they had to like realize, right? I got to hold my tongue because if I continue to go on about this guy's physical appearance, he's clearly a relatively established streamer. This will come back to bite me in the ass most likely. So she's probably a little bit more tame than she would be if she did this to a smaller streamer. So to be honest, I probably got off a little bit lighter than the average Joe. Oh. <laughs> Another ew. Back to Valor when I go. Why is this lagging? Is this... Watch out, Pete. Hide. How did you get that hit, dude? If you're bad, you still got a hit. Are you... Are you fucking stupid? That hit hasn't worked four times and you're still trying it? <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd try to go Are for a cheeky serious? hit. Because it is possible that if they don't like it tight enough ever. to get the hit. It, it does if the survivor How sticks too close to the edge right there. But uh, she's she's getting a little overwhelmed with this game here at this point. <laughs> uh, I don't know. He's coming back. He's watching your Minecraft picks. Yeah. Ooh. Understand yes, Almost get a gun though. <laughs> Wait, why is Corey offline? Oh, is it because his mom's home? He's with his mom, yeah. Yeah. Bad dinner. Imagine being close with your parents. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> that's, that's exactly why I did it. Strong. Alright, if you don't have a ballot, use your friends. True! <laughs> 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 
to use my ultimate 22 more times. Biggs, I think you would like Valorant. You said you used to look Overwatch, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to be good at shooting necessarily. You have to be decent. But, like, I'm not that good. And, like, I don't know. You can be support always. Yeah. I'm a good sage, but I, I will not be a good jet. <laughs> because I, I'm not a good duelist. And to get used to Valorant, we could just play Deathmatch. So you guys to the guns. And here's where it starts to get to. pretty spicy. Huh? I drop a GG. They say you bring much dishonor to the demo Gorgon name. Very unfortunate. And I just hit her with the, the facts <laughs> right here, you know? I drop I saw her. I just was clicking away. And then, of course, the you look like you do because she's already shown audible and visible. Of course, I have her face blocked out to protect her identity. Audible and visual disgust when she opened up my profile and saw what I looked like. And i that's when I thought it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> okay, that was kind of funny. What happened? I drink my own piss. I don't know why I'm finding that funny. It's not that funny. I mean, <laughs> I bet you I hashtag, 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 you don't hashtag, hashtag. You so usually when people like start it's going off, I just start saying random dumb stuff because it usually always like, it usually always throws them off. It's always funny. <laughs> Yay, my money transferred. Yeah. All right, here's where I take uh, take a little bit of objection here. Like, I don't consider... I'm one of those people who doesn't consider anything in this game truly toxic, dude. Like, the only thing really toxic is, like, endgame chat and the, the propensity that people have to, like, be weirdo stalkers in this game. Because I've had a few of my own weirdo stalkers over the years. Um, like, that's the only things... The only, like, two things I would ever consider in this game, like, to be quote-unquote toxic or, you know, just, like, weirdos that just stalk you after a game or make it their personal mission to be your personal stalkers dude it's really weird i've had a few stalkers of my own in this game uh that's the only stuff that i really consider toxic i don't consider anything in this game quote unquote toxic now you could you, you could make a case and say you know somebody's being a shitter or somebody's being annoying but i wouldn't conflate that with true toxicity uh at all activity join me on balance i am don't worry. <laughs> yeah. I want to pay through PayPal. No. And I hit her with the what? question mark tech right stuff. here. No. Of course, the two people in the call are going off on their own little conversation unrelated to this. Wow. Oh. Alright, now here's the part where she says that I tunneled her hardcore. Many people tried to stop. And here's where I hit her with the facts that on that particular map that there are no tunnels, dude. It's a it's a mostly outdoor map, dude. You know? That there's no tunnels on uh on that map. It's all mostly outdoors except for the asylum itself. Just straight facts, of course. Hi. I don't understand how someone can be so fucking yeah. obtuse. I don't understand. Like, I said, does this work for you, dude? Apparently it does. Apparently he can, he can just get in people's heads and fuck them up so bad that they just stop shit talking him. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll just say the dumbest, most random stuff, dude, and, like, 
it usually works do you people i've had people literally like threaten my life and i just start saying some weird dumb stuff and you know they, they're they'll literally like start playing into it it's hilarious and it usually almost always works it's pretty comical saying that he pisses he drank his own piss yeah and i said i oh. i said he tunneled me through the ass and he's like there are no tunnels on that map it's mostly outdoors and, and that's a factual statement which is actually bullshit because he's playing funny. demo no, no 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 it's not bullshit it's a truly factual statement that on that particular map it is mostly outdoors with the exception of the asylum map there is no bs involved <laughs> no, that's funny though <laughs> yeah it's not though because it's like the most obvious way to turn that on its face. I don't see how it's funny. I laugh. I mean, whatever. Alright, you Wally was kind of it's sort of funny. It's just a game forehead. Hey, look. That's not me. I, I don't say it's just a game. But like... That's not really me, dude. Like, I, I don't know. I, I find things more comical than uh, other certain, like, you know, streamers and YouTubers. Like, I just find it all funny, dude. Like, it's just all comedy to me. The, people like this, and, you know, I'm not even going to make a comment on what it looks like, but people like to play the way... Yep, right there. There it is. She plainly stated, you know, based on what I look like, something that has absolutely nothing to do with the game at all. Like my my physical appearance bears absolutely nothing on the game, and and like a physical appearance has absolutely really nothing to do with a personality either. So I don't know what this person you know, is trying to imply. They they're the same people that are like, oh, it's just a game. Why you have to be mad? It's just game. It's only game. <laughs> like. <laughs> Oh, who's not after? Oh, because that that one quote from that uh that Russian. It's just game. He's only game. Why you have to be so mad? Why you have to be mad? <laughs> oh god, it's just pathetic. I'm sorry. Like every single other person in this in the game was trying to stop him from tunneling me, and he kept yeah, I, going. I took a hit. Like and you see, yes, they were taking hits, but again, I have no obligation to go for them when the smartest course of action would be to remove somebody from the game as quickly as possible. There's there's literally no reason to go for 12 hooks in this game. This game is not balanced around 12 hooks. There's absolutely nothing stopping you uh, uh, from going for 12 hooks except for, you know, like DS, Unbreakable, Borrowed Time, and all that stuff. Otherwise, the most, like pertinent uh action in the game to lead to victory is just removing somebody as quickly as possible as simple as that you know and if they don't have the perk well then you're just taking advantage of the very simple fact that that is currently you know based on the way that behavior has balanced the game the single strongest method to absolutely winning the game is killer if you could get somebody out two minutes into the game and they're down to three and they only have one or two gens done of course that's better than trying to rotate hooks over and over and over like why would any killer not go for that i mean i even i even try to sub with a hook nearby and i pointed at him so. <laughs> any cool I uh, will see. What yeah, you're about? goddamn right. I was shit talking him. Holy shit! Happy birthday. Now you see, as far as in game s talking goes, I don't really care, dude. But it's like when you open my stream and start basically insinuating about my personal physical appearance, like that's just that that's completely on you. That has absolutely nothing to do with the game. It's you. What are you talking about? They're they're, they're whining in his stream that I'm shit talking them on my stream. See, so yeah, I think somebody in a couple people in my stream, like I didn't even realize I was playing against a Twitch streamer until I had already loaded in. So I usually avoid, usually avoid playing against Twitch streamers to avoid stuff like this from happening. I, I usually typically tend to avoid, especially people I know. Um, but somebody in my stream told me that this person was well known for doing stuff like this, and uh, yeah, like basically alerted me that it was happening in my in my chat. Who left? Who left? Oh, I happy I don't know. birthday! I mean, I don't know why people watch other people play like that. Yeah, I don't get the appeal. For the same reason Spooky Jukes has fans. What do you mean? I yeah, know, yeah, no, I mean, I fair. But, like, he does. what in the world it went wrong in their heads that they find that enjoyable?
So you see, I, I, we, I mean, I can't really speak for Spook and Jukes. I don't particularly watch him that often, but we, we both play to win the game. But in the eyes of a lot of people, that is like horrible, the worst thing ever, dude. Like, I don't necessarily go into games, you know, intentionally trying to get a reaction out of people. I just go into games trying to win. And there are times where you have to play in a manner which other people will take it the absolute wrong way. Because if you have a personal vendetta against them, but that's really just not the case, bro. I'm just playing to win because I have an audience that doesn't want to watch me just sit there and smack my meat for the duration of the game. They want to watch somebody actually win. They want to watch the killer streamer play to win. They don't like, what is the appeal of going to a killer streamer stream? Just watching them like purposely play to lose. It just doesn't make sense. There's no appeal to it. My, you know, my audience is there to watch me play the game at a fairly decent level, right? That's what they're there for. They're not there for me to purposely throw the game because of some arbitrary rule book. It's just, it's like, are you, what? 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 Yeah, I just, I don't get, I don't get the appeal. Uh, let's watch an asshole act like an asshole. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, that, that's the thing as well. Like, somehow that makes me an asshole, like, for playing that, like, you know, playing to win is an asshole thing but it's like at the same time is there is there anything that is survive you know playing on survivor right like everything you do on survivor is you know you know you're doing it just to win survivors trying to survive so when a killer tries to kill they're just in, you know an asshole and that's just what i never understood oh they're talking about the spook and jukes video oh yeah very good another oh, example of someone being toxic on purpose Waiting for the person to get mad. Now, again, I don't consider anything in this game toxic at all. And, like, this person assumes that, like, I played to win on purpose to hope, like, to purposely ruin their experience. No, I was just playing to win the game because this was during, I believe, MMR. Dude, games were literally, like, sweat or be sweated on. There was no in-between. If you were not sweating on Killer, you were, you were not having a good time. And then when they naturally and understandably get mad, they like, ha, oh, point and laugh, look at you, you got mad, ha, oh, you're such an idiot, ha, oh, loser, you got mad. Now you see, I could understand getting mad, but literally opening up my stream and the first thing you do upon seeing my physical appearance is insulting it and indicating your absolute disgust and implying that my physical appearance has anything to do with my personality and or the attributes of that personality, it's simply due to physical appearance, like, such as basically saying that somebody that looks like that, of course, somebody that looks like that plays like that, which is basically what you insinuated and what you implied. My, you know, my physical appearance has absolutely nothing to do with the game. But of course, you slap that attribute on to further showcase, you know, how that game affected you and how uh, what the type of person you are. That's why I don't get mad. <laughs> I will shit talk him, but I don't get mad. It's just fucking... You see, is there truly proper shit talking to that degree without first being a level of, uh, you know, mad? Like, you know, I could, I, I wouldn't really care, you know, if they were just like, ah, of course, this dude is dog ass, but, uh, you know, like the whole opening my stream and going on and on and on about my, uh, you know, yeah, how I am as a person, as you perceive me to be, based on the fact that you died in one game against me, like, that's a little, uh, that's a little over the hill. It's sad. Are you on gun? Now, you can't see it right up here in the top left, but they actually have my tab open, visible on the screen, but I'm not going to show it because then it would, uh, they, their camera would appear. So I'm not, I'm not, they, you see, the point of this video is not to, you know, witch hunt somebody, but rather to get the absolute comedic factor of the, uh, the nature in which they're presenting themselves on stream. That's number one! Period! Now, bear in mind, at this down. point, they still have a tab open in my stream as well. All right, well, I need to cook, so I'm gonna head on out. All right. Thank you for the games. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, it was follow. entertaining, to say the least. I'm closing this guy's <laughs> stream. He doesn't deserve my view. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, man. Whatever right, will I do yeah. without it? Yeah. It's Sag, dude. Let's see. Dude, it's a good idea for me to let them exist. They're trying to make me look bad when he is the one who looks like a fool. Well, you see, I was just primarily playing the game. Like, I never opened up anybody else's stream and gave a uh, an in-depth social commentary about how I uh, think of them. I've never particularly 
done that though. But uh, yeah, to each their own. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just Spook and Jukes fans. I know, I know. You see, to be honest, I don't think many of my viewers are are particularly Spook and Juke viewers either. Like, I think I have a lot of my own uh, personal viewership that doesn't personally themselves watch Spook and Jukes. So, like, to be honest, I think we share a, a pretty different audience. Like, of course, I'm sure there's some crossover because we both do very similar things. However, mine is more for the the comedic factor of the videos, whereas his is more for calling the people out, you know, more about calling the actual people out. And mine is more about the comedy factor on some of the things that some of the people say because of this game. But, you know, we do have some crossover, but I think there's enough of a divergence to where I don't think most of my viewers personally watch Spooky Jukes. Of course, I could be wrong, but... You know, I just don't think we're, you know, necessarily that similar. Hi, Restless. Oh, we just had a, uh, we just faced an absolute loser. Oh, Restless is uh, Oh, you see, the, the ironic thing is, that person she just mentioned is a, is a mutual viewer of mine, a mod in my chat. However, this person was not aware. So I'm going to play that back. This part was, like, literally funny. For real. Fuck you, Rita! <clears throat> Hi, Restless. Oh, we just had a, uh, we just faced an absolute loser. Oh, Restless is friends. Uh, shut up. She's friends with him. And you hear, you hear a friend in the call say, oh, stop, stop. Ooh, he's friends with her. Ooh, or, uh, that, that person in the chat is friends with me. Ooh. Okay. So don't, like, be rude. He was rude to me. Dude. I was I was just personally playing the game. I I like when I, when I was playing to win, my intention was not to quote unquote be rude. It was to win because that's what my audience wants to see from me in the game and then in the post game chat. Hey, look, in the post game chat, I was just vibing, dude. I was talking about drinking my own piss, talking about the nature of the outdoor versus a tunnel system, you know. I was just vibing in the end game chat. I mean, you, if you're you friends die, with you him, die. maybe he's not that bad, but I don't know. W. Yeah. 